Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to use the WooCommerce checkout add-ons plugin in the WooCommerce website. Now, let me show you how does this work. I'm on the checkout page and here I have four different products in the cart. And here you will see the total value of the cart is 1650. Now, if I go to checkout page, at the bottom, I'll see this option, add tip. So this is an add-on that you can show on the checkout page. Now, customer will be able to select any one of the options. In case of this add tip, they can select no thanks and it will remove the tip from the cart. If I select 50 rupees as a tip, so customer is going to pay you 50 rupees as a tip. Then here you will see add tip is 50 rupees. So 50 rupees will be added to the cart. Now, here is another option insurance for this insurance we have three different options none half and full if customer selects none that means they do not want any kind of insurance if they select half then they are going to pay five percent of the total cart value as an insurance if they select full then they will be paying 10 percent of the cart value as an insurance now this is just an example the dummy example it's not the accurate values so if i select full insurance it will add 10 percent of the total cart value so 1650 is the cart value and 165 is the 10 percent which is added to the cart so this is how this option works now here is another option is this a gift now in this cart i have this product men's wallet so when i have this product in the cart it's going to show is this gift option so if i do not have this product in the card then it will not show this option now here if i check this option yes this is a gift it will add another option gift wrapping do you want to use gift wrap for the product if customer checks yes gift wrapping then 50 rupees will be added as a gift wrapping and here customer will be able to enter the message they want on the gift as a gift message so this is the gift message that customer will be sending you and you can use this message while wrapping that product as a gift wrap. So there are many different conditions that you can use while creating checkout add-ons. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the WooCommerce website dashboard and we are going to install the WooCommerce checkout add-ons plugin. Now this is a paid plugin and you will find it on the WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is WooCommerce checkout add-ons and the price of this plugin is $79. It says build annually. However, that does not mean that it will stop working after a year. It will keep on working. However, you will not get any updates after a year. Now, what's included in $79? One year extension updates, one year technical support and 30 days money back guarantee. And these are the features of this plugin. Offer free or paid add-ons and service at checkout. What you can do with this plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. Now, you can also buy this plugin from GPL websites such as WorldPressIT.com. Now, whether it is original, yes, it is 100% original. All premium features are included and the price is $4.99 if you buy it from this website. It also has unlimited site and domain usage and updates are also there. Why is it so cheap? Now, here it says we are able to offer prices which are incredibly low for official items due to the fact that we purchase all items directly from the authors and redistribute them to public. These plugins are at the lowest price on this website. They are buying the GPL license and they are redistributing the product. Now, the only thing is that if you buy it from this WordPressIT.com or any other GPL website, then you will not get any technical support for this plugin. And if you buy it from WooCommerce website, then you will get one year technical support for this plugin from WooCommerce itself. So I already have this plugin downloaded. So let's go back to the dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new. 
I have downloaded the plugin on the computer. So let's click on upload plugin. Choose the file and this is the file that I have downloaded. Select the file and click on install now. All right, so the plugin has been uploaded. Click on activate plugin. The plugin has been activated. Now here you will see the option of WooCommerce and under WooCommerce, you will see the option checkout add-ons. Click on it. Now we are going to create some add-ons which will be shown on the checkout page. So first click on add add-on. So this will be our first add-on. Now if you want to get some tip from the customer on the shopping cart, name it as add tip. So you are asking customer, do you want to add tip? You can, this will be the name of the add-on and this will be the label that will be shown on the checkout page. Now I'll show you how does this work. Here you can give them some extra description. Now you can offer them some options to select from. So I'm going to select a radio option. So they will be able to select one of the radio options for the tip. So when I select a radio, you will see the options created here. So I'm going to options. And first option will be no thanks. They do not want to give you the tip and there will not be any price adjustment. So they are not giving you any tip. The second option will be, let's say 20 rupees tip. And here you can add the price difference. That will be 20. Next option will be 30. So when they select 30 rupees, they will give you 30 rupees as a tip. Next one will be 40. So this is the price adjustment and this is the label. Okay, now by default, we are going to select 20 rupees. Okay, so we have got these options here for the tip. Now this is the display rules. Now, where do you want to show this add tip option on the checkout form? Now, I want to show it when the minimum cart amount is 1000 rupees and maximum can be anything. So when the cart amount is more than 1000 rupees, it will show this option add tip. So let's create it. So this is the first add-on that we have created. Now let's go to the shop. So we are on the shop page. Now let me add one of the product here. So I'm going to add this sunglass. Okay, now you can see the 500 rupees has been added to the cart. Let's go to checkout. So this is the checkout page. So here you will not see any option for the tip. Now let me add one more product. Go to shop again and add this wallet. So it will be 500 plus 300 is equal to 800. Add this one also. And let's go to the checkout. Here you will see the checkout total is 1350. Go to checkout page. Now we are on the checkout page and here you will see the option add tip. By default, it is selected to 20. That will be 20 rupees. And here you will see that 20 rupees has been added to the cart. If I select no thanks, you will see that add tip is zero. It is removed from the cart. If I select 50, you will see that the 50 rupees has been added to the cart. Okay, so this is how this add tip function will work. Now let's go back to the checkout and add one more. Now, if you want to add an insurance, so this can be a new field insurance. Now, I'm not sure how does this work, but what we are going to do, we are going to add a percentage of cart amount that customer can pay as an insurance. So this will be the name of the add-on and this will be the checkout label. Now here I'm going to select the drop-down option. So people will be able to select one of the drop-down option. So that will be select. When I select this option, you will see the options here. Click on add new option. The first option will be none. They do not want any kind of insurance. So the first option will be none. The second option will be, let's say half. That will be 5% of the cart value. So customer will be paying 5% of the total cart value as an insurance. So here, from here, you can select percentage. Now this website using the currency rupees, you may have different currency. So here you can select five. So it will be 5% of the cart amount will be the price adjustment. The next one will be full. 
that will be 10% of the card value. So you are explaining them the option here. Full insurance is 10% of the card value. From here, you can select 10% and default, you can select this one. Now the display rules, when do you want to show this insurance? Again, I want to show this insurance option when the minimum card value is more than 1000 rupees. Now here you can see different options, product in the cart. If customer has any particular product in the cart, it will be shown. If a customer has any product from the specific category, it can be shown. So as of now, I'm using the cart subtotal. In the next add-on, we will add different option. Click on create. Now let's go back to the checkout, refresh it. Now here you will see the option insurance. Just below the add tip, you will see insurance. So if I click on it and select half insurance, then it will add the 5% of the total card value. So here you will see 5% of the total card value. If I change it to 10 full insurance, then it will add 10% of the total card value. So this is how this option works. So if I remove one of the products from here, the card value will go below 1000 rupees and it will not show both these options here. Now let me add one more add-on, click on it. And we are going to use this as a gift wrap. If customer has any specific product in the cart, it will ask, do you want to gift this product? Is this gift? So this is the name of the add-on. And this will be the same name. Gift wrapped. And this will be a checkbox. So customer will be able to check the box. Now here, this is just a question. So we are not going to make any price adjustment or any other things. When do you want to show this rule? Now, I want to show this option only when, let's say we have, let's go to the shop. And let's say I want to use this only for this category wallet. So if customer has any product from the wallet category, then it will be shown. So here I'm going to select category in the cart will be, let's say I'm able to select the category here, wallet. So any product from the wallet, it will show this option is this gift or you can select this option also product in the category and you can type in men's wallet one and men's wallet two. Okay, so if any one of these products in the cart, it will show this option is this gift. Click create. Now let's go back to the checkout. Now we have a wallet in this card, so it's showing the pro option here. Is this a gift? Okay, now let's add one more add-on. Now what do you want to do next? Now what if customer selects is this gift? Then we will add one more option here, gift wrapping. Okay, so this will be next option, gift wrapping. And this will be checkbox. So customer will select whether they want to use gift wrapping and you are going to add 50 rupees extra. So you, here you will see 50 price adjustment, 50 rupees, not percentage, only 50 rupees. If you want to add tax, you can also add tax and default value, leave it as it is. Now display rules. Now here we have added the option here. Is this a gift? Now gift wrapping will be shown only if this option is this gift is checked. So if customer is not checking this option, then there is no point in showing gift wrapping. So here you can select choose an add on and is this gift. This is the checkbox. If it is not empty, that means it is checked. Then only gift wrapping will be shown. Click create. Okay, now let's go back and refresh it. Okay, now here you can see that is this gift is not checked. Now let me check it. Now when I check it, you will see this gift wrapping option is available. 
okay now customer can select this option and here you will see that gift wrapping rupees 50 has been added to the card automatically now here you can make this default value checked whenever someone check this box is this gap it will also check gift wrapping let me uncheck it uncheck both the options and refresh it now when i check this option you can see this option but it is not checked yet by default it is not checked so i'm going to select default value update it go back uncheck this one and refresh it now i'm going to select this option again and you will see that gift wrapping is checked by default okay, now let's add one more add-on here that will be gift message enter so customer will be able to enter some short gift message which you can use while using the gift wrapping so this will be a text field and there will not be any price adjustment we are not charging extra for this one display rules will be same if is this gift is checked then it will show so is this gift is not empty will be the display rules click create let's go back refresh it and here you will see the option gift message so customer will be able to enter the short gift message that you can use while gift wrapping if i uncheck this one you will see both the options are gone if i check it you will see 50 rupees gift wrapping and you are giving this as a complimentary gift message 50 rupees has been added here now the issue is that here you can select one product now if i select another wallet let's go back and let's add another wallet that will be wallet to this one add to cart we have got four products go to checkout now here you will see two gift wallets wallet one wallet two however you will see only one option as the gift is this gift and gift wrapping so if you have two wallets or two gift products then it's not going to specify for which one you want gift wrapping so that's what the problem with this checkout gift wrapping other options are good add tip insurance if you want extra then you can use this checkout add-on however if you want something like gift wrapper for each product then it's not going to specify for which product you want this gift wrapping option in that case you can use a product add-on instead of checkout add-on you can use a product add-on which will give you an option to add the gift wrapper for that particular product itself so if you want to use any product specific add-on then you can use the product add-on instead of checkout add-on for general add-ons you can use this woocommerce checkout add-on now i have already published one video on how to edit this checkout field manager here you will see many different options on the checkout form so if you want to edit this checkout form you can do that also i have already published one video on this i'll give you the link in the description box about the checkout field editor you can watch that video also so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips